Uh, Nat Natalie Hall? Hi, I have been watching your videos forever. It's so cool to meet you. Oh my of god. Of course, of course. Did you want a selfie? Um, sure, yeah. Thank you. Um, actually, you probably don't remember, but I left you a comment a few years ago about college, whether to stay close to home or go far away, and I just wanted to let you know that your response absolutely was amazing, and it changed my life. Oh, you are incredible. thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Um, what's your username? Um, Enigma Emmy. Oh, no, I remember you. Uh, you come in all the time, really? right? Oh my god, yeah, I do. How'd that all work out? Uh, pretty good, actually. I graduate from UCF in the spring. So. Congratulations! Thank you. That's yeah, awesome. I'm so sorry. You're probably super busy. Thank you for talking to me. I just, oh, uh, of I just had to say hello. It was really great meeting you. Yeah, of course. I keep commenting. I love when you guys comment. I love you guys so much. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <you>. Bye. <laughs> Are you editing? Oh, yeah. I have to get this done by tonight because she wants to post it tomorrow. <laughs> it's the day before Thanksgiving. It's a holiday. You know, the reason you took off of work from the restaurant? Tell Natalie she can take a vacation. I don't think Natalie believes in vacations. This year, I'm thankful for you guys. I still read every comment, and I just want you guys to know that you are the sweetest most supportive group of subscribers that a YouTuber could ever ask for. You guys are like my family, and I've made so many friends through YouTube over the years. Does she really read every comment? <laughs> I doubt it. And I wouldn't really call her YouTube friends friends, more like guest stars. Oh, someone sounds more bitter than usual. It's just because she's been bothering me about this all day. She texts me about meeting a fan who she probably blew off, even though her fans are like family. And she's playing this huge 10th anniversary video for Christmas, and I don't even know what it is. Are you going to have to edit it? <laughs> Obviously. I edit everything. I doubt she knows how to use anything other than iMovie. <laughs> Friendships can be difficult sometimes, and I definitely know that. What you have to do is dig deep and think about who your true friends really are. <laughs> if you think Does she ever give, like, actual advice? I mean, she used to, but now she pretty much uses it to talk about her sponsors. Well... She's paying her rent. <laughs> I guess. And when are you going to start paying our rent with your little videos? Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love your videos, and you deserve just as much fame and fortune as Nifty Natalie. <laughs> um, she doesn't use that username anymore. Oh, well. <laughs> Plus, I don't want fame and fortune. I just want to make videos with my friends. I know, I know. Are you going to get out of bed anytime soon? It's like one in the afternoon. No. Because it's a holiday. It's a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Ashley, you did not pass the siren challenge. Therefore, I regret to inform you that you must walk the plank. Walk the plank! Walk the plank! Wait, you wanted Sharon to win? Her rendition of Shake It Off was an insult to Taylor. <laughs> Taylor Swift's rendition of Shake It Off is an insult to me. <laughs> Whatever. Katie would have been Team Ashley. Katie doesn't even watch this show. She thinks it's trash. One of her few flaws. What she doesn't understand is that we watch this show because it's trash. Beautiful, beautiful trash. <laughs> well, it's better than half the stuff you watch on YouTube. How am I supposed to keep up with the latest trends if I don't watch other bloggers? Right. Trends. <laughs> so what do you have planned for the big 10-year anniversary video? Um... I don't know. I haven't thought of anything yet. So why did you say you had a big surprise planned? Well, you have to build hype, Jess. Keep your viewers interested. Anyway, I have sort of an idea. I was thinking that... I could incorporate tinsel somehow because 10 years is the tin anniversary and, you know, Christmas. Wow. Hey, what are you doing? Researching the trends? 
No, I'm checking our views. The Thanksgiving video did great. The crafty cart and people are gonna be so happy. <laughs> All right. The all-important sponsors. They are important. They pay my bills. And especially since I'm paying rent by myself now. Well, I mean, you could get a roommate. Oh my god, I hate Christmas commercials. It's like, hey, come worship in our capitalistic, Christian-centric society. Show your loved ones you love them by buying them material goods. <laughs> oh, but I love Christmas. <laughs> I mean, like, it's <laughs> nothing against Christmas. I just hate the whole consumerism part of it. I guess, but I mean, as a business, it is a good opportunity to market yourself. People are more willing to buy things this time of year, and it doesn't mean that you can't celebrate with your loved ones or whatever. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Katie and I are throwing a Christmas party at our apartment. You should come. Of course. Oh, hey, it's back. Okay. Welcome back to Singer Sync. When we last left. Hey, you ready to... What happened in here? You like mug a Christmas tree? Yes. I've got nothing. It's Christmas Eve, the video is tomorrow, and I have no idea what I'm going to do. My life has been nothing but tinsel for the past two weeks. I don't think I can go see lights tonight. I'm too stressed. Uh, but, but it's tradition. Oh, hey, well, come help me with an idea and then we can go. I mean, but Katie's in the car, so Oh, I... right. Wouldn't want to inconvenience Katie. What is that supposed to mean? <sighs> Nothing. It's whatever. You should go without me. No, no. We want you to come. Do you really think anyone's going to care if you don't have an anniversary video tomorrow? It's okay. Unlike you, there are people that care about my videos. That's not what I meant. I meant I don't think it's worth all this stress. Your viewers are still going to like you if your video's a few days late. Come enjoy Christmas with your friends. Plus, I don't really want to spend Christmas editing. I want to spend Christmas with... With Katie. With all the people that I care about. And what's your problem with Katie right now? I thought you liked her. Oh, I do like her. God, it's whatever. I have to get this video done. I've been hyping this up for weeks, and I'm not going to sacrifice the integrity of my channel just because you don't want to take some time out to help me. The integrity of your channel? You know, I think it's a little too late for that one. Excuse me? Come on, Natalie. You can fool your viewers all you want, but you're not fooling any of us. You stopped caring about anything besides views and sponsors a long time ago. <laughs> no, I did not. I give advice the same way that I always have. Just because I get paid for it now doesn't mean- Oh, you're so full of it. You don't actually think you're giving anyone useful advice anymore. <laughs> All you do is mask your advertising in the form of Q&As and stir up drama to get more people watching. When did I stir up drama? Does the name Pink Girl 88 ring a bell? How dare you bring her up right now? I'm just saying. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, clearly you think that my channel is garbage and that I'm not doing anything important. So just go have a great time with your precious girlfriend while I try and find a way to thank the millions of people who actually care about me by supporting me. Okay, well have fun editing that by yourself. See you at the party tomorrow, I guess. Good luck with the video. Oh, I will have fun. And you won't see me tomorrow. Apparently I have more important things to do. More important than spending Christmas with your friends. Oh, I will be spending Christmas with my friends. My subscribers are my friends. And they are going to love my tinsel video. Wow, well, I'm glad you really dug deep and realize who your true friends are. Scrooge and Marty's 
I believe. Have I the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Mr. Marley died seven years ago. This very moment. We have no doubt his liberality is well represented by his surviving partner. At this festive season of the year, Mr. Scrooge, it is more than usually desirable that we should make some slight provision for the poor and destitute. Many thousands are in want of common necessaries. Hundreds of thousands are in want of common comforts, sir. Are there no prisons? Plenty of prisons. And the union workhouses. Are they still in operation? They are. I wish I could say they were not. Oh, I was afraid from what you said at first. That something had occurred to stop them in their useful course. I don't make merry myself at Christmas. I can't afford to make idle people. I help support the establishments I have mentioned. They cost enough. Those who are badly off must go there. Many can't go there, and many would rather die. If they would rather die, they had better do it and decrease the surplus population. Girl 88?